people, 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 people. Ke pa sa sa pa se what they do. Now people, the first thing that is popping in the news is an update about an incident that I spoke about. As it pertains to two men that were wanted, we are speaking about and they got caught, we are speaking about in a St. Mir. I am speaking about a person whose name is Warrell Brown and also Carl Gauntlet that were taken out by the Popo in a St. Mary. And it is said that one of these men, they were wanted for all sorts of slap away. We are speaking about in Montego Bay, we are talking about St. James. And the next one was also wanted for some very serious crimes in a place called Portland. Now people, there's a saying that goes, Chicken Mary Ark the near. And I am going to show you an example of exactly what this means. I am going to show you a short clipping of these persons celebrating and flaunting money that is proceeds of crime. We are speaking about money that they stole, money that they kill people for. So people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. Now people, like I said, that was them celebrating, that was them showing off their proceeds of crime. However, a couple of hours later, people, this is exactly what transpired. Take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. <laughs> Now people like they said when you watch cartoon and it said a couple of hours later that is exactly what happened one minute they are celebrating and then next minute they are basically stiff to one call we are talking about taken out by the Popo special operation we are speaking about Port Maria CIB so people you see that the Popo they are not playing so people like I said there is also a next part to this video and we are speaking about a video in which the girlfriend or one of the matey of one of these men when they went to the place of recovery and they realized that he was or they were not going to make it. People this is how she sounded. She was bawling. Take a listen. Take a look and then I'll give my peace. <laughs> Now people, like me say, this is YouTube and sometimes when it is kind of, you know what I mean, not appropriate, we cannot really show it. However, people, you can't hear the bawling, you can't hear how she act. As if somebody that was good left. As if somebody that is person that is like in a society basically got taken out. No people, this is a person that is a crime. We are speaking about producer, so therefore whenever he leaves, it is a period dance, point blank and period. So people, the moral of the story is this. If you live by the G-U-N, then you are also going to be taken out by it. And people, you can't run from everything. You can't run from your bill. You can't run from your girl. You can't run from your picnic. However, you cannot run from karma. It will surely catch up to you. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dance All Source. And I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. We're speaking about true Jamaica buzz. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon. And also press all in the option. Now, yesterday I did a video and I spoke about an elderly man that picked up at least 15 to 20 con in a place called Pembroke Hall. And people, I have some update. Based on information that I got, it is said that this is a man that is well be known in the area. We are talking about Pembroke Hall, and he also frequents. We are speaking about a lot of bars in that area, and he is also always around. We are speaking about the political representative. We are speaking about Mr. Clark, that is the Minister of um, Finance for Jamaica. And like I said before, word on the street is that there was some sort of argument during the election between himself and the next man. And the man promised that he was going to come back and slap him away. And people so said, so done. And word on the street also said that he is not a troublemaker. However, he is very mouthy. He is very fiercey. So therefore, if somebody diss him or say anything to him, he is going to send them up under the mother. 
and people understand as it pertains to these new millennials they are not taking any type of talk and people like them say whenever anything happens in jamaica it is always some sort of copycat syndrome so people yesterday we are speaking about early in the morning we are talking about downtown and next man also got at least 15 piece so people like them say whenever anything happen person are always going to try to duplicate or replicate that action person are always going to try to outdo the next one and people so said so done now people the last thing that is popping in the news is the fact that we see that these new millennials we are talking about shatter they are getting out of hand and we have to kind of wonder if they are on some sort of d-r-u-g-s if them basically are drinking some sort of M-A-D-P-U-S-S-P-I-S-S -S -S -S, because their action, people, it is very disgusting. It is basically, we have to wonder if something really wrong with them. If them kind of mad sick and them head no good. Because the type of things that they are doing, people, it has everybody astonished. And people, it seems as if they are not even doing any sort of thing that is making any sort of money. And people like them say, crime don't pay. However, with these new millennials, they are not making any sort of money they are always beating up themselves and whenever them buck up in the poor poor them hardly even have any sort of con in them tool so people i am going to let you listen to the voice note of a person that is basically from the street and understand exactly what is going on he is going to give a perfect example of what is going on in jamaica as it pertains to these lunatics out there that call themselves we are talking about shatter or we are talking about quenga people take a listen take a look and then let me know what you think in the comment section bless up them say them for those killer of them at self them now no mama clad sense them just get up and want kill 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 and them broke like that dog you can't want people every day on the no money you can't walk people every day and you beg money for buy shot eh you call a man and you call a man and i beg him two thousand dollars you just a man where him funeral like a cost 500 to a flat million sick of them that idiot you with you. If you're a bad man, you're a bad man. If you're going if you're gonna defend your own, defend your own cause sight go. You get to me and say, but three men with a rifle, I stick up a whole man with a purse, or I stick up two little school kids with them bad phone. I wanna tell them about a bad man. Eh? I that a badness gone to. Eh? A man tell you if you man, you shoot him in the face and kill him. Eh? Or you rob two men and them innocent and I tell people say so you're gone five, six doppy. You don't have to a bad man. Bad man for bad man. You go look for a youth where you have something and you don't see him. And you see him mother or him father or him look a granny or him look a pitney. And you don't have to talk about a bad man. You don't have to a bad man. You don't have to a cannibal. That is no sign of that badness. Where you, where you walk, where you rise up a rifle and go stick down one that bar with four drunken people and take them look little money where they don't really have. You get me, a man I come from all work and he might go home to all him pitney them or a miserable woman and him decides he might go stop in a bar and hold a drink and want to come rob the bar and want to get one he want and want to steal shoot him and kill him. You know, sister, he's some ball. Eh? No, no, he can't tell about a bad man. Bad man, I used to have them gun and I got you and I try to eat a food. If you're bad, go rob the bank. KFC, they're the phone to rob. The Chinese man in place, they're the phone to to rob on our broke in our own shop in our community and wake up in the morning and, and see the people in my ball or them shop broke and know say I own a thief or them bull and them bread and them thing there. I want to have that gun and I talk about a bad man. Bad man, what? And just a kill off on one another or something, nothing at all. Most youth when them dead right now, if them not a family, a foreigner, them family in a certain position, them cave a bury. A people have to come together and make up. You see, when you them are showing the people, say, one year in body, the other mag and nobody can bury him. You get me, I say? So, uh, it, then if you broke and not no money, and I kill him, no one another. So, imagine if you really get rich, and someone say, get a youth to get rich. Because they get a youth, them if you get rich, with enough of them left go a foreign to them, I get rich. Them get rich and buy back gun. And when they buy back gun, it costs chaos. Because when you put gun in a fool, at an, a joke thing. You get to me and say, one time when we are you to you say, copper them and stalk them, go all up on big drill, drill around or them go for a bank. Not say me a can do on robbery, but me just show yourself, you say, if you don't have so much gun, instead of turn it pound at one another. 
Or kill a little man that you might work and I eat a food. Or the man that have him look a stall around the Or a man that just get him pay. I only lay away to him and rob him on seven grand or one ten grand. Where I go home to him pit me. And I don't then I don't feel like I'm bad. That is not bad. That is not bad. Because I don't kill on one another. I don't rob from on one another. And the big rich man, them on the bun out every day. I don't go look for them big place and go try to hijack it and eat some real millions. And spend months on one another and try to uplift on yourself. You get me and say, every turn you turn, that man they shoot, that man they, four people dead, we under so, that youth they shoot, that youth they, look, look, look on all the video where you send come give me now. Look how the woman lie down beside her son or her man. Look how she bat all her belly and a ball when she say I'm dead, when I'm dead on the ground with gunshot in her face. And who knows if him is not a killer and is a killer come kill him back. You get me and say, so when them are bad and I kill them one another, are the parents them really hurt me, G? And the father and the mother and the family them hurt and sometimes them go mix up in a badness and cast all them, them, them family lives. Where do you put gun in a put shot in a man where a 65 and 70 year old and 50 year old? Cause you go you gotta look for Rary and you know see him. Oh I'm uncle that you know I'm father and you kill him and say a bad man. Bad man which part? Eh? You know one way for no bad? Make Jamaica take up whole on us on a bad man and put him in Afghanistan or one of them. War country there, or Palestine for for one or two days, you know, on a ball like baby. Because them look at you over there so can pull on all a rifle when they are four or five year old. A bomb them tie on for themselves and go chop on people and go walk up to people. You know, some cannibal about you know, kill, 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 you know, one another and I say, Oh, that man there say I have 20 doppy, that man there say 30 doppy. Oh, about 20 million and 30 million. You have 20 doppy and you still a look five bills to beg. You have 20 doppy and still a look a grand. You have 20 dopey and a man with money and f*** your girl and a stuff him f***ing down her throat. Go s*** out on her mother.